Good morning. This is James from Strongpunk.com, and this is Zombie Week. I love zombies. I love Halloween. I love zombie Halloween. Um, so I even love <laughs> Killer Clowns. We're not talking about that today. This is a good movie, though. <clears throat> I'm sure you can find it in like a five dollar bin somewhere. So today we're going to talk about zombie fiction, fiction, zombie books and videos and, you know, movies that I like. Um, I really think that zombies are a good teaching tool. It's what really got me into survivalism, thankfully. There's a fly on my camera. Um, so, and it's, it's good to make you think about things. It's good to skip for hypothetical situations like, oh, in the zombie apocalypse, what would you do here, here, and here? I like it. Um, so, for books, <clears throat> the ones that I could find, um, first off, the ones that I can't find, I cannot find my copies of Day by Day Armageddon. Um, the first one I think I still need to buy because uh, I've only bought it on digital media, Kindle. I've only bought it on Kindle, so I can read it anywhere I go. And it it works really well on that digital sort of Kindle format. I like it for that. Um, so the Day by Day Armageddon series, 1, 2, and 4 are really good. 3, it's different. It's different. It doesn't, uh, doesn't really fall into the theme of the rest of them. It's not a diary. It's done traditional book writing style. I kind of don't like it as well. But, you know, you might. Uh, when I spoke to the author, because I got him on the podcast, he explained that, you know, he had to do that third book that way and had to do that book to basically move the plot point along so you you could, like, figure out what's going on. Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's a different way to do it, you know, continuing from the first, por first person point of view, the diary style, from the nameless narrator's point of view. So, if you read the first one and the second one, and you love them, and I did, and you, sh you should, you should love them too. You'll read the third one, you'll get through it, and then you'll love the fourth one. The fourth one goes right back to what we like, um, and the reviews on my... My website, starpunk.com. Day by Darm again, you'll find it. Um, a book that I do own, and I got for a good price, World War Z. Love this book. Uh, and I'm even mad that I got the uh, <clears throat> the movie cover. Yeah, now motion picture. At least it doesn't have Brad Pitt's stupid face on it. This book is so good. So good. And the movie could have been so good. And it wasn't. It wasn't anything like this at all. If you've seen the movie and you're thinking, Oh, well, I know what that's about. No, you fucking don't know what it's about. Oh, this is so good. This, The narrator, and I knew when they were like, We're going to cast Brad Pitt as a narrator. I'm like, it's over. Because this dude's just... They didn't even say his name. He's just, once again, he's just a nameless narrator. He works for the army. He goes around collecting stories of survivors to put it in a book or a document or something. So it's all about the other characters, and there are some amazing characters, the uh, the people that are the astronauts and cosmonauts that are stuck on the space station during the apocalypse, like the the one or two years or whatever it is during the main part before they can get brought back. <sighs> you know, they're they're given valuable intel because they can see things from up there and they can monitor uh, events, but. No one's ever spent that long in space. Their muscles deteriorate. They end up with massive health problems. Because they're in space for, you know, a year or two. The body's not really meant for that. And the space station's not set up yet for long-term outer space survival. Um, you know, and there's so many other stories in there that... I really like the Japanese kid that was a, a lazy otaku um, gamer that, you know, wasn't doing nothing. And then... He trained with that master Japanese blind gardener that was killing zombies. Not all of it makes a lot of sense, but it really sucks you along. It's a good story. I really like it. Um, 
would have loved to see more. You know, he did a comic. He did the zombie survival guide that I'm sure a lot of you have. Uh, I don't. Never, never really bought it. Like, uh, went for someone to give it to me for Christmas though. Like for a novelty. Like I like, I like novelties. Um, I should. What do you guys think? Comment in here. I'm thinking I should change the bookshelf behind me. This is my fiction bookcase, and my prepper survival zombie bookcase is over here. So would you rather see my survival books behind me, along with a couple things? My hog's blood, the most realistic fake blood in Hollywood. Oh, I got shot with a cannon of it one time. The SAS survival guide, I'm sure you guys know that. My steampunk wooden block. Where's it? R is for robot. Where's D? D is one of my favorites. D is for dirigible. Anyway. Frog lube, can of possum. Whatever. Um, World War Z. Highly recommend it. Um, there are used copies floating around. I'm sure you can find it. I'm already at six minutes. Fuck, God. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, the comic with The Walking Dead. I really liked it. Up to a point. Um, the comic I thought was really well. Um, so when I started watching the show, I eh, was really excited about it at first. And then not so much. Um, I actually never made it past season two, so I didn't like it. I have this weird thing that if things start diverging from the source material, I start getting angry and I just don't dig it. So, The Walking Dead's not for me. Whatever. I don't watch a lot of TV anyway. Let's get on to to movies before we're out of time. Um, this is something I got out of like a super cheap like three five dollar bin or something years and years ago. Um, it has. The original Night of the Living Dead with uh, Bob Romero, so you gotta have it. You just have to. That's what really started the genre. Really started it. Um, not super, super really zombies, but The Evil Dead 2. Watch it. Love it. George Romero's Diary of the Dead. This was one of the... This was one of the newer ones that was really good. They were pumping out a lot of crap there for a while. Even Romero, I didn't like a lot of his newer stuff. Um, after day, night, dawn, day. After day, oh, um, was it was it even day? Was day bad? I don't remember. Um, night and dawn were good. Dawn was really good. Uh, I think there was one more after that. No, I mean there's more after that. Uh, th there was there was one not too long ago that had like John Leguizamo in it. By too long ago, I mean like the early 2000s. It was a little weird. It's a little weird. Uh, this one was stellar. Um, done from like first person point of view and video camera. It's really good. Check it out. 28 days later. Why are you jiggling around in there? Twenty-eight days later I thought it was really good. Sort of had that small sort of indie feel, was interesting. It was not true true zombies, it was sort of like a rage virus zombie. It was good. Um I liked it. I'm I hate fast zombies though, but definitely worth checking out. Dawn of the Dead, it's a classic. The original, not the remake. Um, love this one, super good. Um, it made you think, you know, it was sort of a culture clash. You had, it was a good way to comment on social things while having zombies. It's a classic, you need to own it, you need to watch it. I'm gonna save the weird ones for last. Everyone has their weird ones. Um, just real, real quick. Army of Darkness. What's it said? Not they're deadites. They're not really zombies, but 
it's good. It's fun. Um, the Ash vs. the Evil Dead TV show. I've seen the first episode. I loved it. I bought the DVD when it came out. I haven't had time to watch it. Um, really want to, though. Uh, Jeff Bradkey from Lost Skills Podcast really loved it. All my friends that are Evil Dead fans love it. So, I'll just say all my friends that are Deadites. You better not be Deadites. Because I'll shoot you 32 times with a shotgun that's not loaded. Um, but I'm looking forward to watching that whenever I have time. Uh, Zombieland. I hear there's a sequel coming up. And I want to watch it. I didn't think the DVD was in there. Oh, this one was so good. So comedy and zombie fighting. Like, eh, you know, you should have some fun with it. I don't really like super, super serious zombie movies. I want it to be a little fun. So, Zombieland nailed it. Um, not a huge lot of lessons to be learned from it. Twinkies do not last forever. Twinkies have about a 30-day shelf life. And I have seen them go moldy. So, they are not the ultimate survival food. Nope. Alright. This one, you guys might not have ever heard of. Tokyo Zombie. With one of my favorite Asian actors, Tadanobu Asano. He is really good. Um, you may have seen him in the Thor movies as the random Asian Asgardian. I don't know why there is a Japanese Asgardian with Thor, but I was excited that it was Tad Anabu Asano, uh, who I love from the movie Ichi the Killer, which is really fucked up. Um, zombies pop up in Japan. Hilarity ensues. Um, if you watch a lot of Asian movies, like I do, um, they run too long. They're little. They're like like me at 12 minutes already. They're long-winded. Uh, they don't know when to end something, so they need to work on that. Uh, the movie runs, runs along the tooth. You get a little bit like, oh, okay, you know, because Americans, we have short attention spans. Um, how long is it? How long? 104 minutes. So, maybe that's not the longest thing ever. But, 104 minutes, and that's kind of long. Kind of long. Yeah. Um, it is good, though. I do recommend you check it out. Uh, it's been out for a while, so you can probably find it used somewhere. Um, maybe on Amazon or something. So with that, DIY to not get eaten by zombies, used guys.